Urethral stricture is a narrowing of the urethra and is a relatively common finding in men. The most common etiology is idiopathic in developed countries and trauma in developed countries. Iatrogenic injuries such as oversized resectoscope at the time of transurethral surgery and traumatic placement of indwelling urinary catheters account for about 45% of all cases. Other causative factors include infection, specifically sexually transmitted disease, hypospadias, skin conditions, most commonly lichen sclerosis, trauma, most commonly pelvic fractures, and radiation therapy. Most patients with a urethral stricture present with chronic obstructive voiding symptoms, such as decreased urinary stream and incomplete bladder emptying. Acute urinary obstruction can occur without significant warning, requiring emergency transurethral or suprapubic catheter placement to facilitate urinary drainage. Besides decreased force of urinary stream, a patient may also exhibit signs of recurrent urinary tract infections, urinary spraying dysuria, or decreased force of the ejaculate during orgasm causing sexual dysfunction. If left untreated, urethral strictures can result in further complications such as elevated post-void residual urine volumes, bladder stones, urinary tract infections, and more rarely, hydronephrosis. Patients suspected of having a urethral stricture should undergo cystourethroscopy, a retrograde urethrogram or RUG, a voiding cystourethroscopy or VCUG, or ultrasound urethrography to establish the diagnosis. This treatment is indicated for patients with a urethral stricture that results in bothersome voiding symptoms, acute urinary retention, bladder stones, high post-void residuals, or recurrent urinary tract infections. Treatment options include minimally invasive therapies such as dilation and endoscopic urethrotomy, as well as urinary diversion procedures such as a suprapubic tube or perineal urethrostomy, or surgical reconstruction of the urethra. Urethral dilation and urethrotomy continue to be the most commonly employed initial treatments. Given the high rate of recurrence with minimally invasive techniques, and the overall superior outcomes of surgical reconstruction, most centers attempt endoscopic urethrotomy only once after the first presentation and, if unsuccessful, progress directly to surgical reconstruction. The urethroplasty involves varying degrees of stricture, incision, or excision with or without augmentation using a flap or graft of autologous tissue.